So uh, our project, project is called Universe, which is a, a universal language translator in physical space. And um, yeah, we are the creators. That's our names and our schools. So in summary, in this future, there'll be micromachines called microverses in the air that can translate languages through the interception and creation of sound waves. Okay, so basically, language barriers are a real big issue, no matter how many universal languages we try and get taught around the world. So our idea is to have is to have these microbots in the air that will translate language through sound waves by intercepting and creating sound waves through um, a translation device. So the microbot translators will be used by two or more people through a code word, and the microbots will have a mechanism that will change the density of air, which will cause sound waves to be attracted towards the bot rather than all around everyone. And then the microbot will translate those sound waves and create vibrations through a speaker that will amplify, amplify the sound in the translated language. All right, uh, so just some mechanisms that these bots will have, you know, some details. Uh, they will be autonomous, so they can learn and adapt to different cultures and languages, because you know there are different rules uh, between the different languages and stuff. Uh, We'll have heat sensors that will keep them from getting too close to living things in case of accidental inhalation so it doesn't enter anyone's system. Uh, they will be activated by a code word or phrase uh, so that you know they know uh, who's you know, using it. And then with this code word or phrase, they will uh, remember the voice of the person speaking so they know uh, which voice to translate when it's being used. Uh, a uh, swarm technology will be utilized to keep robots from possibly interfering with each other. Uh, and they will all be linked to a control panel of sorts, so they can be controlled remotely if needed. And each area of translators will have a different control panel in order to control any possible hacking attempts. Okay, for the power source for our uh, microverses, it will be using a uh, lithium iron ion micro battery, which will be 3D printed onto a microverses chip. This chip will be created by uh, using a combination of 3D and 2D photolithography to create mesostructured electrodes. 3D photo photographic lithography and conventional photolithography combined will make a template uh, for active material with electrode of position. This creates a micro battery with interdigitated microscaled electrodes with metro structured pores capable of handling superior energy densities. Uh, all credit for developing this technology that we will use in our microverses uh, goes to these researchers at the University of Illinois at Urbana Champaign. Um, this is just a very simple uh, diagram of what the network machine would be like. So just on the left is where the power source would be as it's the entire, it just is so small as that's the entire port part and it uh, stores half the intelligence of the machine just like half the stuff you said. And, in the, uh, and then the right uh, part is where the microphone, where this, the sound will be emitted and recorded and also the right part of the intelligence of the device. And. Um, Language uh, would no longer be an issue for conversing with others from different countries. Rather than needing a universal translator in their ear or relying on Google Translate for, uh, for imperfect translations, the machines would be programmed by seekers of various languages to understand broad social cues to create the best translation of a sentence possible. Uh, this would eliminate the possibility of accidental rudeness or misunderstandings. Okay, uh, the precedence for this device uh, the first one is the Pilot, which is available for $300, and it's an earpiece you could wear in your ear. And the second is made by a Japanese company called Logbar, and it's a real-time translator which can translate English, Japanese, and Chinese, which is available for $177. And uh, a popular fictional precedent is uh, the Babblefish from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which is a small yellow fish that you can put on your ear to translate uh, speech.
Uh, our project will be different from all these previous examples because uh, first off, the largest difference is ours will be microbots in the air while current universal translators are earpieces or something handheld. And uh, secondly, our microverses will be a public service and therefore they will not cost an exorbitant amount to use. And lastly, our device, unlike its fictional counterpart, won't be fiction and will be a machine instead of an animal. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, so just some questions to think about uh, for this kind of project. So swarms of somewhat intelligent robots in the air could potentially pose a security problem. You know, what if they are hacked by uh, governments or foreign entities or, you know, criminals with bad intentions and used for malicious purposes? Or what if they become too intelligent and get out of control? So these are problems that we have to consider. Also, uh, though, they do utilize heat sensors to uh, you know, try and stay relatively far away from uh, living things. There is still always the possibility of accidental inhalation. So would they cause harm if they enter the uh, someone's system? Or would they simply be too small to pose much of a threat? And is there a material? Uh, that we can use to make these bots that can offset any potential harm. So looking on the bright side, uh, some of the good impacts um, of these microbots on future society include, um, so there would be a larger international network, uh, greater ease in communicating ideas on every level, um, whether that be uh, like a scientist trying to communicate new scientific ideas or a political leader trying to communicate the terms of a peace treaty. Also, people would spend less time learning how to actually try to speak um, different languages and probably focus on something more productive. Uh, no need to hire uh, translators anymore. Also, there would be less communicational misunderstandings and actually a universal language could partially unify different cultures um, which would reduce discrimination. So in conclusion, our microbot translator will greatly diminish the language barriers between countries and tourists in different areas, as well as allowing for better communication between people. Their environmentally friendly exterior and battery will make them safe for use around the world and in all areas.